In today's Leeds news, Willie Nonto's situation escalates, Tyler Adams' exit done, Max Aaron's deal off, York accused of insider trading, and today's rumour mill. Hey folks, Joe here on the 10th of August with your Leeds United news. The day after a 2-1 victory sees Leeds advance to the second round of the League Cup uh, with that win over Shrewsbury Town goals from Joe Gellhart and Pascal Stryke in that game. But that wasn't what all the talk was about and it's not what all the talk has been about. In what has been probably the most Leeds United day ever yesterday where we woke up to uh, Joe Roden and Max Aarons in advance talks and medical set for both players. Max Aarons decides to go to Bournemouth instead, but we'll get to that in a bit. Leeds concede their first goal of the game against Shrewsbury and have now faced three shots on goal in their two games and conceded three goals. Leeds got to win that game then, but then after the game, all the talk is about Willie Nyonto. We're going to start with that and we're going to get straight into it. And last night, it did come out that Willie Nyonto asked Daniel Farkett to be left out of the Leeds United squad of the EFL Cup to avoid being cup tied. According to the Mail, Nyonto wants a move away from Leeds United and is unhappy that he has been forced to stay at the club. Basically, he approached the club yesterday and asked to be removed from the squad. Um, Leeds have been clear on the situation with Nanto. They have said he's a major part of their plans and they're not interested in selling him. That has been doubled down on by a few different places. According to John Loco at the Marcio, uh, Leeds' position has not changed on the situation. They are not keen on selling the player and they see him as a big part of their plans in order to get up. There have been reports yesterday of a bid coming in for the player that may have been accepted. It's looking like that may be the case although not fully accepted yet, but a bid has been put in. Basically, Everton's first bid of 15 million has been rejected. Burnley, Everton, Freiburg, Aston Villa are, are said to all be keeping an eye on the player. But now, according to um, Nicola Shearer on Twitter, he is saying that Nonto wants out of Leeds and that personal terms with Everton have already been agreed. He's looking at a four-year deal at 1.7 million per season. Uh, Leeds want 30 million, according to Shearer. Um, but Everton are closer to 24, including any add-ons. But as I said, Gianluca Di Marzio has said Leeds' position has not changed on this, uh, and Leeds are not open to a sale. He does say a loan offer might be possible at the end of the window, but that's his opinion rather than actually saying that's what Leeds are looking at. So there may be late moves from other clubs to try and nick him on loan, but there is no long, long release clause in the player's contract. There's no release clause in his contract at all. Leeds should and can play hardball here with this one. There's plenty of time in that contract, you know, Um. The old school way of doing it was stick him in the reserves, wasn't it, for a while? Can't do that anymore because their value goes down as a result, unfortunately, at Money Talks. But it's going to be an interesting one to keep an eye on over the next couple of days. I'd expect that to move. If Willie has refused to play for Leeds, if and it's an if, I'm saying if, not that he has. If it's true that he asked to be taken out of the squad last night, there's no way back, really, is there? Once, once you start turning down the opportunity to play for the club, there's no way back. We've seen it with Sam Byron when he left the club, Charlie Taylor, in a more... Uh, a more uh, politicized real one where he actually withdrew from a squad it's kind of the same badly advised really not though it's just a bad thing to do there's a way to leave a club and a way not to leave a club this is not the way to leave the club so um i would find it it could be very difficult for, for willie nanto to come back from this and it puts leads in a position where regardless of whether they want to sell or not they're probably gonna have to sell him now because if he doesn't want to be here if he's unhappy if he's causing problems he needs to go you know and again as i said once you refuse to play for leads that is it for me. You have to go. So unfortunately, uh, Willie Nanto, his stats haven't been great for all the hype, to be fair, than one goal and one assist in his last 19 games. So, you know, there's not a huge amount in that. He was very good on Saturday up front, I thought, to be honest with you. But um, it'd be interesting to see what Daniel Farka says at the press conference today. We won't be covering the press conference today because it's happened way too late in the day. I'm not going to get a chance to get to it. So there's enough of other stuff to talk about. So let's crack on. Let's talk about Tyler Adams. Uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, Sky Sports and multiple, multiple different sources, uh, Chelsea and Leeds have agreed a fee for Tyler Adams and his move is one step closer to completion. The Blues are said to have activated the £20 million release clause in Tyler Adams' contract. That's all they have to do. And have negotiated terms. Football Insider are saying that it's one step closer with a medical schedule for the next 24 hours sky sports have also confirmed that chelsea have agreed a fee and that a medical is planned in the next few days to say the next 24 hours in terms of a medical but the deal should be wrapped up in the next couple of days and um, what this does though this may bring in some much needed cash release to actually start moving on their targets and get players in the max Aaron's thing yesterday which we'll get to in a sec um showed leads have a bit of money to spend not massive amounts of it but with this money coming in and the potential of Nanto going and more money coming in, Leeds can start to move for the targets that they really, really need to get in. Centre back, centre mid, number 10 and a striker. So we'll see we'll see how they go with them. Gustavo Hamer would be a lovely one to get, wouldn't it? 
don't think we will get him, but it would be great to get. Um, talking about deals that nearly got done yesterday, we mentioned a couple of times, Max Ahrens. So there's been a bit of news coming out this morning um, from Chris over at one of the Norwich channels. And he's basically, Max Ahrens was expected to uh, complete a medical yesterday. He didn't do the medical um, and he didn't attend the medical. Leads were at the medical stage of the deal. That was all that was left to do. Contract signs and you're done and dusted. Um, Aaron's pulled out of the deal when Bournemouth came in. Bournemouth matched Leeds offer. The offer now looks like yesterday it was rumoured at 12 million. We said it probably wouldn't be that. It looks like it's closer to 7 million plus add-ons. Um, Bournemouth matched that fee as well as Southampton also matched that fee as well. But the player has decided to head for Bournemouth. Aaron said it was a very tough decision to turn his back essentially on Daniel Fark after agreeing to come to Leeds and after speaking to the manager. So Aaron's has gone another way. Um, Daniel Farke after the after the match last night was asked about Max Aaron's from Phil, from Adam Pope sorry and how close he was to it, getting it done and he said that he doesn't want to talk with players that are under contract to other players. He also didn't want to speak about the Willy Nyanto situation either. So there's that. Um, tricky situation, but Tyler Adams looks like all but done and dusted and will be leaving Leeds United and heading back to the Premier League to play for Chelsea. I don't know how many games he's going to play for Chelsea because Caicedo is also expected to sign for Chelsea and they also have um, a bid in for Lavia at Southampton as well. So. There's a lot of competition. You've got Conor Gallagher in there as well. I know Adams is a deeper lying midfielder, but so is Caicedo or can be, and you know, Lavia as well. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, in slightly connected but unconnected news, so this doesn't really have a massive impact on Leeds, but the story is out there, so I thought I'd cover it. Um, according to the San Francisco Chronicle and Forbes magazine, Jed York, who is the owner of the San Francisco 49ers, um, is facing multiple lawsuits and potentially insider trading accusations uh, due to activities on his Chegg Inc. platform. Um, uh, claims the claim says that York basically helped students to cheat on online exams. He didn't help them cheat. The platform helped them cheat. So basically, it says that during the pandemic, Chegg's Inc. had a huge amount of um, growth and its revenue soared. Once students found out that they could use Chegg to get real time answers to questions to cheat on college exams, York basically said he's very proud of the platform. They're not involved with it anymore. They were. Um, but around the accusations, he's made no comment. There's no comment at this time around it. So it's only accusations. There's nothing. It's not like the Spurs thing where <laughs> rests are being made. Hasn't gone that far. It's just um, potential lawsuits for Jed York, but it shouldn't affect Leeds in, in any way. And then finally today, just talk a little bit about the rumor mill. I've stuck this in the rumor mill because... I think people could be reaching here. There could be something in this, but I'm not 100% sure. According to Football Insider, there's, your first, <laughs> there's the first hint that we're stretching here. Football Insider. Um, they are claiming that Rabi Matondo is a potential option for Leeds United. The Rangers winger was pictured at Elland Road last night, and that has set massive speculation um, flying around the internet that Leeds are potentially fit finalizing a move for the Rangers winger. Uh, Matondo is an ex-Manchester City youth player. He did um, go off and play for Ra- uh, Schalke and then Rangers bought him from Schalke last summer. Uh, he played 28 appearances, got five assists for Rangers last year, but only 11 starts. Manager Michael Beale said the player suffered from a crisis of confidence in the middle of the season, was struggling with his confidence, um, but did have a decent spell at Schalke as well. Um, I don't think there's anything in it, if I'm being honest. I think he probably there watching somebody else or you know, or connected to somebody who was playing in that game. I, I don't see it. It's a winger, and it's a winger that's probably lesser than we've already got, even with Nanto going. I don't see it as a as a major thing. Anyway, that's going to be that for, for today. There will probably be more information on what's going on when Daniel Farkas' press conference kicks in at about half past two today. Won't cover that. Um, there won't be a podcast this week, um, basically due to the fact that I'm not going to be around on Friday evening. If I can try and get it done tonight, I'll get it done tonight and drop it on the channel on Friday night and Saturday. But I will let you know tomorrow morning's video, which should be out earlier as well. So all that to come. Um, that'll do it for today. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Um, I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.